Hi, in this video I want to teach you or explain how to make a square loom. They are very easy to make. I give you the detail how to do one and how, you know, put nails and all that stuff. I don't hammer here in front of you guys because I don't use my uh, working table, this one, to do it. I did it in my kitchen. And I show you how to do the square loom and how to use it. Look at how nice this the stuff that you can make with. And they're very useful because uh, you can attach all the squares that you make and you can make a baby's blanket or a, um, an afghan or a, a bedspread. You can make sweater, I can make in a poncho, you can make uh, clothes, a skirt, depend on the size of the loom that you're using. Well, here is the video on how to create a square loom and how to use it. In this video, I want to show you how or explain you how you're going to make a square um, loom. This one that I'm making is 23 centimeters by 23. That one that I have there that I'm using is 30 by 30 and I have another one that is 50 by 50. Um, this one, uh, this here, you have to have the size that you want your loom to be. You have to have two pieces of the wood exactly that size. These are 23 centimeters and this one are a bit bigger because the width of my uh, material that I'm using. So if I put it like this, you see it's 23 and that marker to 23 in here and the inside is 23 by 23 centimeter and that one 30 by 30 and have another one uh, 50 by 50. Here you're gonna nail this the square you're gonna measure one centimeter in in each and with the ruler you're gonna trace it and you're gonna put uh, one centimeter apart and nail one little nail like this one inch nails one centimeter apart and you will have your square loom I want, I'm making a girl's uh, poncho little girl's poncho and that's what I'm making there and that will be in another tutorial I will teach you how to do the squares or maybe in this tutorial I'll teach you how to make the square and you need four of these for the um, poncho. And I'm making another uh, project with my 50 by 50 I'm making a skirt and I'm using a, uh, a yarn that have different color and look at how beautiful it look. After I saw this I decided that I want to make a cardigan with squares like this because it look amazing so that's why I'm making the smaller uh, loom for the sleeves so I'm gonna do my loom off camera because I don't can be hammering here and I will show you the result here I finish my square loom and exactly in the seam here if you look I have a nail and in all corner I'm exactly the same I had 26 nail from corner to corner, 26 from this corner here to this one and counting this one again from this one to this one, from this one to this one, like that, 26 um, nails. So now I'm going to teach you how to use a square loom. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the a square loom and for that I'm going to use this loom and thread Charisma. I love this yarn and this is perfect for this type of uh, projects. Uh, it's a hundred gram and the color is chocolate cupcake and is bulky five. Since I'm making like a, a little um, bolero or a little vest and this will be the sleeves for it. I'm already going to teach you making this square and I'm gonna use the yarn that I that I need for that. So I'm gonna do a knot here in the corner. And for the body of the of the piece that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use the the one thirty by thirty. 
but that will be in a different video. This one is just to teach you how to work the loom. I did a knot here in the corner nail. You can do it in any other corner nail. And you're going to bring your yarn to the other end, to the nail that is parallel to the one that you did the knot. And you're going to wrap the nail and the one beside. Just like that. And then you're going to bring your yarn straight to the nail beside this one here. You're going to wrap your yarn and you're going to bring the yarn under this one and wrap it around to the nail parallel to the one that you just worked there. You're going to bring your yarn to the other end, pass around that nail and the nail beside the one that you just worked. You wrap around that nail. You have to do every single nail. And wrap around this one. And always you have to go under the first one and then top, under and top. But you always have to go under and finish under through the bottom. So I'm going to be under this one and the top of that one and under this one. Wrap around that one. I'm going to bring it all the way to the other end. Hook it in that nail, wrap it around this one, and bring it back again. Like this. Working with this type of loom, you will use half of the material that you use for the best or anything. You're going to bring under, and top of that one, under this one, and top of that one, and under the last one. Just like that. Wrap around that nail, and again, bring it to the other side. Wrap to that nail, to this one here. And it's a very fast uh, project you can make with this. Wrap around this nail, one more time. And you're going to bring it under this one, and top of that one, under this one, and top of that one, under this one, and top of this one, and under the last one. Just like that. I hope you guys were looking, see, you can see. I wasn't looking what I was recording. You bring it to the nail. And you have to make sure that all it is one nail. Sometimes the yarn wrap around two, and you have to make sure that it's just one nail. You see, this is going to have just like that. And to know the ones that you have to do under, if you look, you will see that you have some a little bit higher and some some of them a little lower. Well, those ones that are lower are the ones that you have to lift to work under. Okay, you see these ones here, you have to lift. And that weave, make the yarn, uh, you know, weave it in, in between the threads. You can use a comb to make sure your squares are nice and even. And you're going to use a tapestry needle or a crochet hook later on. I'm going to continue doing a few of these off camera and I will show you when I'm a little, um, I have more done. Uh, this type of yarn make this type of material. Okay, so I'll meet you here when I have a few more done. Now I wanted to show you that I started using my comb to push my yarn closer to each other. That way we have them at the same distance. I always do the left side and then go to the right side. And I continue. This is a, uh, something that you just take no time to do. Grab my yarn. And what I do here, I lift two, pass it through. I lift two, pass it through. The one I'm lifting the one that is supposed to go to the bottom. You see, if you look well here, 
I don't know if you can see. Here you can see that this one will be the next one and this one the next one because this one are on the top of the yarn before and those don't have to go um, in the bottom button of the next row. So I'm lifting the ones that are obvious when you have the work in front of you that they will be the ones that the yarn go under. And I pass it through. Sometimes I grab three. And when I don't can do this no more with my hand, I use my crochet hook to help doing this. And my last two. Pass it through here. Go to the next nail. Pull. And now make sure that it's straight with my comb. And like that, you'll continue all the way to the end. I will meet you here when I have uh, just a couple left to do, and I'll show you how to finish. Here I wanted to show you how I use my crochet hook. I grab the one that is supposed to be on and through the bottom, and I grab the next one and the next one, and I pass my yarn through. Grab the next one and the next one and pass my yarn through. Just like that. All the way to the end. And like this. And then I pass. Just like that. Here I got to my last two nails. Well, I have three nails left. And I'm gonna come around those two, and I'm gonna make sure that you pass it through the first one, through the bottom of the first one, and like that. That's why I say the crochet hook help a lot with this project. So you're gonna continue all the way to the end, and then we'll do the last nail. It's so funny that I wanted to have some chocolate here, and I use so little yarn that my chocolate is still here. Well, I will show you how to finish this now. Here I have one nail left, and you're going to wrap around that nail, like that. And you're going to pass it to the bottom of that first one there, through the bottom, like that. And then the next one, leaving this one at the top, the next one like that, all the way to the end. Before you do that, what you're going to do is measure from this nail to the next one, that's to cut the yarn, plus the side here to sew, and a little extra. You're going to cut your yarn, and then you're going to pass it through this time, it's just one strand of yarn all the way to the end. And then we'll tie it here after we wrap in the last nail. I will show you how to do that. Here I'm going to pass it through the bottom of that first one. Pass it through all the way and remember to cut the yarn a little extra because we still have to do a knot in the end plus it's good to have a little extra just in case. And I'm going to leave that one at the top, the next one off the bottom. Here if you like you can use a um, tapestry needle but I like to do it with my crochet hook. And this one is a 5.5 crochet hook. And it's only one strand of yarn all the way to the end. And then I will pass it, wrap around this one and tie a little knot here. So I'll meet you here at the end. Here I have finished with my last strand of yarn. Now you're going to wrap it around the last nail here. And which you, we're going to do a knot in this uh, strand of yarn that is between these two nails here. You're going to pass it under. You're going to pass it through and you're going to do a knot in there. And now we're going to remove all work from this um, loom. Here this was the first knot that we did. I'm going to uh, undo the knot and I'm going to do exactly the same knot that I did in that one. I'm going to do in this one. I'm going to uh, attach them to this strand of yarn in here. 
Here I undid the knot and I'm going to do exactly the same that I did on the other side. Pass it through here and I'm going to do exactly the same this knot here. Now to uh, remove the work from the uh, loom with your crochet hook, you're going to lift them up and this will be the side that is a little too tight, the other one will come out easy. Just like this. Like this is how you're going to continue all the way to the end and the other one will come out easy. Now with your hands you can remove the rest as easy as this, as this. careful with your yarn not to pull it and you'll be done. Well here is the end result you will end with a square like this and look how nice it look and this is going to be for a sleeve and this will be for the around the arm here and this will be the length. If I want it longer, what I do is I make another square like this and attach to this one, it will be uh, a longer sleeve. And for the back, I do a one exactly the same like this one. But that will be for a different video. Well, I hope you give it a try to do a, a square loom. They're very easy to make and very easy to work with. And the result is beautiful and you will be using a uh, last yarn that you use for a regular uh, project and it's really fast. In the next video I'm going to be showing you how to do a baby, a, a girl's poncho with the one that I'm working with the blue and it's really easy to make too and really nice. Well, have a great day. Ciao!